All right, so here we are with another video continuing the data mine. Specifically, we're just going to be looking at the characters. So, should you summon on this banner? If you are free to play, definitely do not summon on this banner. These characters, the filler characters, are not good. Even the AX units are not good. Uh, I mean, only a handful of them are actually good, but the chances of you getting that specific good EX is even lower than actually pulling the freaking new sparking character itself. Unless you're well, then don't summon on this banner. Because if you, again, like I said, if you do not pull these two new characters, the rest of the filling, filling sparking units are old. You know, only a couple of them are still good, like the Trunks and the Super Saiyan Gohan. Only them are good. And then the Vegeta, if you have them, Zenkai, okay. But if you don't, every other unit here is trash other than the Teen Trunks, Super Saiyan Gohan, the new Turtles, and new Super Saiyan Goku. So just really don't summon on this banner. If you want to do, you know, the 20, the 20 crystals daily, then all right, that's good daily summon. You can do it. So now we're going to look into the characters. If you pull them, was it worth summoning? So the Super Saiyan Goku is green and his tags are some family saying Super Saiyan Mel sparking melee type. He's green saga from the movies and Goku. So let's see. So obviously you're going to be pulling him three stars because it is 999 Z power and you're going to max him out. So his stats 1.81 million health. So that's pretty good health compared to a little bit of some of the other units, but it's not over 2 million because that's how the majority of the units are. They either have 2 million and over. His strike attack 193. That's that is lower than EX Gogeta's. Okay. So not looking too good. Strike defense 131. Kind of pretty bad. Blast attack. Okay. He's so yeah, you can definitely see that he is more melee based. And then his blast defense is higher than his strike defense. So there's that. So he's his stats are looking pretty like okay. He can definitely use those Z abilities to you know help him out, but this is kind of this is this isn't this doesn't look attractive to where I want to summon on this banner. This shouldn't be looking attractive to you to where you want to summon on this banner. Main ability. Let's end this. Draw a special move arts card next. Restores own key by 50. So if you pop it, you'll immediately be able to use your blue arts card, similar to the new Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the Goku Black arc. So that's pretty much the same thing. And it increases his arts draw speed by two levels for 10 time accounts. And you have to wait 20 time accounts before you can actually activate his main ability. So that's kind of, that's definitely not a game breaking main ability. It's definitely not a good main ability. I, you could just say it's average because there are all older spiking units that have better main abilities than him. And there are, they're just better units than him, like off the bat, you know? So yes, and like, it, it's crazy because who would actually summon on his banner? Unless they're your favorite characters, unless you really want them, you actually use them on a team. Who would actually summon on his banner? If you're a collector, cool, but okay. So one of his unique abilities is Supreme Warrior. 30% damage inflicted against tag regeneration. It cannot be canceled. That's definitely good. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. He'll draw a strike arts card next. Plus 40% 40, 40, 40 damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Reduces damage received by 30% for 20 timer counts. And minus 15 to special move arts cost for 20 timer counts. So all these little buffs uh, when he comes in will last for 20 timer counts. So he'll get minus 50 to special move arts cost. And then he'll reduce, he'll receive damage reduction. 30% and then he'll receive a buff of 40% damage inflicted. Collision Force is a second unique ability. Applies the following effects itself after enemy attack is over. Restores key by 25. 50% to strike damage inflicted for 15 time recounts. Reduces damage received by 30% for 10 time recounts. Cannot be stacked. Reduce restores own health by 30% if on remaining health is 50% or below after enemy attack is over. Activates once. Oh, it just looks average though, because it only activates once. Plus 50% to strike damage inflicted. I mean, that one's okay. Reduces damage received by 30% for 10 timer counts. Cannot be stacked. So, but it can't be stacked though. So you're only going to be able to use that one once. Okay, so if he's tagged in. So once you're finished with the combo, you restore 30%. 
but that's only if you're 50 percent or below oh it's not looking good though man so his strike so 20% special move damage afflicted for 15 time accounts upon activation. So when you use a strike card, he'll receive that buff to his blue card for 15 time accounts. And then his blue card, it can be tough to shell it. And it deals massive impact damage. And he gains the attribute upgrade minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut after for 3 time accounts upon activation. So his blue card has blast armor. So there's that. His special skill, Defiant Spirit. 12 plus 20% to strike damage of 15 time accounts. Change his own Blast Arts card to Strike Arts card. So that's pretty good. So he'll be able to get 20% to strike damage of 15 time accounts. And he'll change Blast Arts cards to Strike Arts cards. So this unit, he's looking okay. All right, excuse me, I have, to, I have to retake this because the audio went a little bit bad. So he is a double buffer, a double tag buffer. He is a double tagger. So he'll give 30% to base strike attack and defense to tags of Saga from the movies and Saiyans. So this, the unit can definitely be better. He's not going to be a game breaker. He's not going to be, you know, standing out. His, his kit's okay. His stats are okay. There are units that are better than him that were released a few months ago and they're better than him. So he's just looking to be underwhelming. And even the Super Saiyan 4 Goku that we got for the anniversary is better than him. So I, I see no reason why you would summon on his banner for him. Again, unless you he's your favorite character or something else among those lines. So now we look on to Turles. So his tags are Future Regeneration Potar. Oh wait, excuse me. Excuse me one second. So now we look at Turles. His tags are Saiyan, Powerful Opponent, Mel, Sparky, Range Type, Yellow, Sagas from the Movies, Turles. Okay. So at three stars, he'll have 1.9 million health, 181,000 strike attack, 130 strike defense, 199 blast attack, and then 131,000 blast defense. So he's looking to be kind of okay stats wise. There are units with a little bit better. With a little bit better strike attack well i mean he's not actually strike attack based but there are units that have better strike attack even though they're a ranged attack and then and there are units again that do have higher blast attack than him let's just get straight into his main ability you thought i was strong before watch this draw the ultimate arts card sudden storm next restores on health by 30 percent and then key by 30 restores enemy key by 40 percent you have to win 25 time accounts for this to activate his main ability so when you activate it, you'll immediately draw his ultimate arts card, Sudden Storm. It'll restore yourself by 30% and key by 30. So as you draw it, you'll be able to use it immediately. And it reduces enemy key by 40. What would have been nice is if it reduced even more key, maybe 80 key. That way they can't use uh, you know, a single card at all. Or they can only use the strike card. That's why, you know, 80 key reduction. So if you look at his two unique abilities, Omnipresent Watcher. Shortens allies substitution counts by one and when this character idol enters the battlefield. So every time you enter the battlefield with this character, he will shorten the substitution count by one. And he applies the following effects to allies other than this character from battle start for 60 time accounts. So from the battle start, when they enter, as soon as you tag in to another character, they'll they will receive these two buffs. 25% to damage inflicted and 40% to key recovery. And they cannot be cancelled. Then the World Eating Saiyan is the second main ability. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. He'll receive a buff that uh, gives 30% damage, 30 damage inflicted to other enemies. And it'll inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade of plus 20% to damage received for 20 term accounts. So I guess it's pretty much like a 50% damage inflicted buff, you could say. And for every time he's faced with an enemy, he randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. And minus three to strike and blast ours for 10 timer counts. What would have been nice if it was like the Super Saiyan Red Trunks from when he fought Cell, that first form Cell. It would have been nice if it just lasted all throughout the battle pretty much. So nothing special with his strike, nothing special with his blasts. And special move deals major impact damage inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade of minus 80% of the key recovery for 10 timer counts on hit. 
and it can be taught to Charlotte. So when as soon as he lands his ultimate arts, the enemy will receive the attribute downgrade of minus 80% to key recovery for 10 number counts. And then his force explosion increases own arts card draw speed by one level for 10 timer counts upon activation. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus five to substitution count for five timer counts on hit. So he's going to have a chainable green card like Charlotte and Vegito Blue. And you'll be able to chain any of the arts. So we'll be able to chain another, another green card, his ultimate arts, a blast card, a blue card, and a strike card. So there's that. So it increases draw speed by one level for 10 time accounts it would have been nice if it was increased by two that we could it would guarantee that you draw another that you drew another card and then it inflicts the enemy with attribute downgrade plus five percent to substitution count for five time accounts on hit so that's looking pretty good the ultimate skill sudden storm deals massive explode damage applies the following effects itself upon activation he received two two buffs that are extremely three buffs that are ex four buffs that are extremely good plus 70 percent to damage inflicted plus 70 percent to key recovery and he'll reduce the damage he receives over 20 percent and those three buffs that i just read they cannot be canceled at all and he'll gain the attribute upgrade minus 30 percent to enemy sustained damage cut effects so all these buffs cannot be canceled at all so vegeta blue will not be able to cancel any of these buffs uh, and neither will Beerus. So he'll receive. So I guess you could say he'll he'll receive a hundred percent to damage inflicted, because he does remove minus thirty percent to the enemy sustained damage cut. So you could say that because that's basically what that means. And he holds a one strike card, one blast card. So it's like, so obviously you'll be starting him off at three stars if you pull him once. If you summon tonight, he'll buff Sagas from the movies and powerful opponent. Okay, pretty strange. So Sagas from Movies will receive a 22% to base blast attack and powerful opponent will be receive 18% to strike attack. Okay. So different buffs. And I'm assuming there'll be uh powerful opponents will be able to take advantage of both of these buffs. So there's that. And this unit is definitely a lot better than Goku. Definitely a lot better than Goku. His their stats are pretty similar. Their stats are definitely, you know, almost mirrored to each other. So if you look at their stats, yeah, they pretty much look similar to each other. 193 strike attack, 181 strike attack. So let's look. So he's predominantly, this Goku is predominantly strike attack, 193 strike attack. And then this turtle is 199 blast attack. So that's better than him. So damage wise, he, for their types, he, yeah. Turles is definitely looking to be a lot better than this Goku. So... I would definitely want to actually summon the Turles more than the Goku. And his main ability is it's his kit, it's just a lot better. Honestly, it's just a lot better. So once again, do not summon on his banner if you're free to play. Do not summon on his banner at all. Do not summon on his banner. I'm warning you, dog. Do not summon on his banner, kid. I'm telling you. Do not summon on his banner. But other than that, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.